Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kodesh. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect. And um, this is an article from independent.co.uk. <clears throat> and it's basically um, starting, okay, the uh, people are now starting to um, go out into the streets and uh, with the reasoning of the the, the pricing, the, the high uh, costs of things, you know, um, the title of this article says, Thousands March to Demand Help with Cost of Living Crisis. And I believe this is uh, in, um, where is this? Uh, let's see. This is, um, it says, Thousands of protesters gathered in central London to demand action from the government to combat the cost of living crisis. And um, I remember back in the beginning of the year in Kazakhstan, you had people, I mean, the, the, the place was in turmoil. They had to declare martial law and uh, Russia stepped in there to help them out. And that was uh, that was a result of the, the price hikes in gas. Okay, and they started, you know, pretty much going crazy over there. And now... Is getting so bad now. You have people that are starting to now uh, uh, gather, okay, for uh, to protest against cost of living, against high prices of things, and that's really a doorway for for you know chaos and stuff. Because in 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 America, for example, when you look at the summer that the that the whole George Floyd situation summer, it sort of set like a another normality for what certain protests look like, which really they just become riots and looting and, and that kind of thing. And I'm sure you had a lot of agents, uh, you know, in there. However, it's now like a thing where when something happens and, you know, Jake takes to the streets, you know, they start breaking into stores, breaking windows, doing that kind of thing. So if that's what they did during the George Floyd um, protest, what do you think they're going to be doing when this time they're protesting because they actually need uh, goods? They need food and whatever else they need to do. You're going to have certain people that take advantage of, you know, the uh, uh, the chaos and the stuff, you know, to um, to just start taking things. And just like, you know, during the George Floyd protest, they mentioned how uh, a pile of bricks would just magically appear, you know, and, and you and you, I'm sure you, you like I said, you have agents that will sort of set that, you know, they'll, they'll break a window. And then, you know, people are impressionable. So they see it all. They'll start joining in, start running into stores and looting. You know, so don't be surprised if you got, you know, crowds start gathering because of, you know, food prices going up too high. You know, electricity bill is going up too Everything is going up too high. And they start taking out to the streets and wilding out. And you have agents that start to sort of um, co promote certain actions during those those gatherings you know like man f this shit let's just go take the food you know start going in there grabbing stuff coming out and 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 if they start doing that or when they start doing that that'll make things worse because when you you're gonna have regular people that don't uh join in at first but guess what when you try to go to bj's because those they're gonna be when it gets that bad these are gonna be the stores they go after the stores that have foods like, you know, BJ's, uh, Walmart, they're going to be in Target's, they're going to be in Stop and Shops, you know, Trader Joe, you know, they're going to be in these stores. So these are stores that people regularly go to shop at. So imagine trying to go there after a night of, of, of riots, food riots, you know, cost of living riots, and the place is all damaged and broke. They're going to close it down or, you know, at least you're not going to be allowed in there. So now if you need to get goods, uh, that's too bad because the stores have been vandalized and bright burnt and all that. So it says, um, thousands of protesters gathered in central London to demand action from the government to combat the cost of living crisis. The crowds began a march from Portland Place to Parliament Square at 12 p.m. for a rally with speakers including Francis O'Grady, um, General Secretary of the the TUC, which is or, uh, which is organizing the event, 
And and when you look at, um, I think it was the DHS bulletin, and they basically mentioned there are certain events that are um, that are uh, going to take place very soon. That is going to be like a, you could say like a, for lack of a better word, a beacon for chaos. You know, so you know they got that going out there. They're talking about the Roe v. Wade, uh, you know, decision thing coming out this month, and that's going to also cause a lot of um, division and friction, right? One people against another. You got uh, pro life and. I don't know, I guess the others would be anti-life or whatever they call themselves. Now it says the TUC or the TUC say, says its research suggests workers have lost almost um, 20,000, what's that, euros? Let me see, make sure I'm saying it right. I'm not good with currency, so don't don't, don't hold me on that. Um, let's see. Oh, the pound. Okay, pound sterling. It's what, it looks like that's what they use. The pound sterling, right? Um, so it's lucky about that, right? So twenty thousand pounds um, since two thousand and eight, because pay has not kept pace with inflation. See, and that, and that that's 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 the thing, because when when your pay, you know, we always break it down, but. You gotta, you know, always. You gotta keep breaking it down anyway. When you're when you're getting paid a certain amount, the prices of things are going up. If your company is not accommodating for that, you're not really, um, you're not really in a good place. Because think about when they raise minimum wage, right? When they raise minimum wage, they, everything else goes up as well. So it doesn't like prices of things are not gonna stay the same when you just go from. Um, you just go from a uh, 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 thirteen fifty to fifteen fifty fifteen dollars. You got to ask yourself why would they raise minimum wage? Minimum wage meaning the the least amount of money you can get paid, right? Or you should be getting paid at these particular areas. Why would they increase that? Meaning that that's the minimum you're gonna need if you want to be able to uh, continue living because of the cost of living in this area. So what does that tell you? If they raise the minimum from thirteen fifty to fifteen. That means that the cost of everything else is going up, so they got to balance it out. Okay, now if you are, um, if inflation is going on, right, prices of things are going up, you're still getting paid the same thing. Now you're at a disadvantage because your pay more and more of your paycheck is going to bills and less to you, and then before you know it, all of your paycheck is going to bills and less to you, and before you know it, your paycheck is not enough to go to the bills. Because your paycheck is staying the same, but the bills are getting more and more, you know, more expensive. Now it says, uh, banners, banners, uh, banners reading, cut war, cut war, not welfare, <laughs> and end fuel poverty, insulate homes now, we are, uh, were carried by demonstrators. Others read, nurses, not nukes, don't get angry, get active, and free Assange. It says people in the crowd uh, whistled, cheered, and clapped as a blue flare was set off to mark the beginning of the march. Loud music, including the songs 9 to 5, I Need a Dollar and Money, 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 <laughs> I Need a Dollar and Money, 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 were played through uh, speakers as people uh, sang and danced along. And now that's, you know, it's all nice and funny for now, but... When when people haven't eaten in a couple of days, you know when they're they're you know suffering and going through, you know a, a terrible energy uh, shortages, and it's affecting them big time. They're not gonna be having speakers singing. They're gonna have a different. Well, let's just say they're gonna be singing a different tune, right? So now, real quick, I want to keep this short. So I'm gonna get a quick precept um, here in the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse one. It says, he measured me, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, it's like you. Right, so it says, and when thou seest part of the signs past, um, uh, when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that, that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. 
And that's what we're seeing. So we, we understand what time we're living in, okay, based on the signs we're seeing. Verse 3 says, Therefore, when there, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and we're seeing uproars for many different reasons. Look, look in Sri Lanka right now. And now a lot of these uproars are having a, a common theme, a, a common cause, which is the hard, the hardship of life. And this is going to force certain governments to take certain means, which is going to lead down the, the destructive road, you know, because it always does when they start to try and take these same repeated means to um, quell and cut inflation and so on and so forth, you know. But as it says in verse four, then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we see that in essence, what is that? That's prophecy coming to pass. All right, prophecy is being fulfilled. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link to this article in the description. You could check it out, you know, um, and it's only a matter of time before they, they start getting out on the streets on a serious note because of how bad things are getting. You know, just give it a couple weeks, you know, the next few months. And based on what 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 they're forecasting in terms of the hardships, you know, we might start to see a different a completely different side of people, you know, in in, 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 in no time. All right. So anyway, with that, I hope you were edified and informed. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.